Hi everyone. Today's topic is prolactin. Let's discuss it under the following headings: introduction, synthesis of prolactin, mechanism of action of prolactin, physiological actions of prolactin, and the applied physiology. Prolactin is a hormone for the milk synthesis. The term prolactin it refers to a hormone that favors the lactogenesis. Pro means favoring, and lactin is lactogenesis. The structure. This is a polypeptide hormone which contains 199 amino acids with the molecular weight of 2,300. It also influences the development of the mammary gland, reproductive functions, and the immune responses. Prolactin is secreted from the lactotropes of the anterior pituitary, which constitutes about 10 to 25 percent of the total secreting cells of the gland. However, this lactotrope population increases during the pregnancy, lactation, and also when we give estrogen therapy. Though this prolactin has a structural similarity with the human growth hormone. Prolactin synthesis. Prolactin is synthesized like other peptide hormones, that is, from pre pro prolactin that forms the pro prolactin, which finally forms the prolactin. So, after the synthesis, the hormone is stored in the granules of the lactotropes, and on when the appropriate stimulation is given, the stored prolactin is secreted into the circulation. Regulation of prolactin secretion. So prolactin secretion increases steadily during the later part of the pregnancy and it attains peak at term. So the increased prolactin secretion correlates with the increase in the plasma estrogen concentration during the pregnancy. So the later part of the pregnancy it will increase. So during the later part estrogen will increase. So in fact the estrogen causes the hyperplasia of the lactotrophs in the anterior pituitary though it does not stimulate the prolactin synthesis. It only causes hyperplasia of the lactotropes and uh, estrogen it also increases the responsiveness of the lactotropes to other stimuli that increases the prolactin synthesis and uh, the secretion. Factors that affects the prolactin secretion. So the prolactin releasing factor, thyroid releasing hormone, pregnancy, estrogen therapy, so during breastfeeding, sleep, stress, angiotensin 2, oxytocin and then dopamine antagonists, serotonin and opioids, they all promote the prolactin secretion. These hormones play important role in stimulating the prolactin hormone. In the dopamine and its agonists, the somatostatin, prolactin itself, and then the GABA, they all inhibit the prolactin secretion. So recently, it has been 
found that prolactin releasing factor PRF the prolactin releasing factor is secreted from the hypothalamus however the exact nature of the chemical is not yet known so this thyroid releasing hormone stimulates the prolactin secretion dopamine has been identified as a prolactin inhibiting factor so that is secreted from the hypothalamus somatostatin also inhibits the prolactin secretion prolactin that stimulates the secretion of the dopamine in the somatostatin dopamine is usually nowadays they are used in the hyperprolactinemia so dopamine is a potent inhibit inhibitor of the prolactin secretion to stop the milk production excessive production they use so whenever there is an increase in the prolactin level in the blood they also use uh, the dopamine and the dopamine agonist as they are the inhibitor of the prolactin secretion so it is used dopamine is used in the treatment of hyperprolactinemia and uh, dopamine antagonists are used in the condition of hypoprolactinemia whenever there is a decreased prolactin level so they use the antagonist of the dopamine feedback regulation of prolactin secretion so this prf prolactin releasing factor which is secreted from the hypothalamus and also the thyroid releasing hormone they also stimulate the secretion of the prolactin dopamine which is a prolactin inhibiting factor so gets secreted from the hypothalamus and also the somatostatin they both they inhibit the prolactin secretion so prolactin stimulates the secretion of dopamine and somatostatin so those in in turn they inhibit the prolactin secretion so prolactin controls its own secretion by its feedback mechanism right mechanism of action of the prolactin prolactin binds with the prolactin receptors which are homologous with the growth hormone receptors so it is in the extracellular domain so binding of the hormone with the prolactin receptor activates the cytoplasmic domain of the receptor which in turn they activate the cytoplasmic thyroxin kinases so activation of the jackstat signal induction pathway that stimulates the uh, transcription factors that induces the dna and the mrna synthesis so there will be increased formation of mrna that promotes specific uh, protein synthesis in the ribosomes so which in turn that causes the formation of the casein lipid and the lactose these are the ingredients of the milk so the milk production is stimulated now physiological actions of the prolactin so effect on the milk synthesis and the secretion of the milk the primary function of the prolactin is to stimulate the milk synthesis and its secretion so therefore the prolactin secretion increases during the lactation period 
the effects of the breast development in the prolactin causes hyperplasia of the breast tissue before and after the puberty so prolactin also induces the loblo alveolar growth loblo alveolar growth of the breast it also causes hyperplasia of the breast tissue during and uh, during the pregnancy and the lactation together uh, with other hormones it acts on the breast and helps in the synthesis of the milk actions of prolactin over the breast so along with the estrogen and the progesterone prolactin stimulates the development of the breast so prolactin induces and maintains the lactation by stimulating the synthesis of the milk whereas the ejaculation of the milk is mainly done by the oxytocin so the synthesis is by the prolactin whereas the ejection of the milk is by the oxytocin remember this so the prolactin during pregnancy and the lactation so along with the other hormones like estrogen progesterone cortisol and the growth hormone prolactin stimulates the development of the mammary gland so that is branching and uh, the proliferation of the ducts and uh, it also along with the estrogen and progesterone during the pregnancy prolactin increases the lobules of the alveoli of the mammary gland in which milk is produced and during lactation along with uh, the insulin and the cortisol prolactin increases the milk synthesis and the secretion in the mammary gland effects on reproduction in females increased prolactin concentration in plasma inhibits the hypothalamic gonadotropin releasing hormone secretion so the concentration of the lh and fsh decreases during the lactation so this prevents ovulation and causes the amenorrhea and uh, this is called as the lactational amenorrhea prolactin it also control some reproductive behaviors like uh, the inhibition of the libido and also it stimulates the maternal behavior that is love affection and uh, the protective behavior of the mother for the newborns so through the breastfeeding in males so the prolactin decreases the spermatogenesis effects on the immunity prolactin is synthesized by the immunocytes the immunocytes number increases during the pregnancy it is believed that uh, the prolactin brings the immunological balance that is required for the acceptance of the fetal tissue by the mother during the pregnancy effects on the liver prolactin increases the synthesis of synlactin which is an intermediary growth factor secreted from the liver the synlactin is structurally similar to the somatomedin and functionally similar to the prolactin so it is believed that the prolactin indirectly stimulates the growth
coming to the applied aspects aminuria galactoria syndrome the excess secretion of the prolactin which occurs in the tumors of lactotropes in the anterior pituitary the hyperprolactinemia causes aminuria and infertility this also causes increased milk production in the absence of pregnancy and postpartum lactation state therefore the condition is called as aminuria galactoria syndrome so this is seen in hypothalamic or pituitary tumors that increases the prolactin secretion the diagnosis can be made by doing the plasma prolactin level assessment or by doing imaging and detecting the tumor of the lactotropes by computer tomography or mri scan so this can be treated by giving the dopaminergic drugs which can inhibit the secretion of the prolactin or oh, if there is a tumor we have to remove the tumor appropriately so this can restore the fertility and also the libido the other hormones that are secreted by the anterior pituitary hormones so far we have seen the growth hormone in a previous class and now the prolactin so the tropic hormones or the hormones which have target endocrine glands to release their own hormones so to start with the, the fsh which is the follicle follicular stimulating hormone and uh, the lh the luteinizing hormone so these two hormones together called as gonadotropins and then thyroid stimulating hormone thyrotropin or acth the adrenocorticotropic hormone the tsh it stimulates the secretion of the thyroid hormone and uh, we get thyroxin so it stimulates tsh stimulates the thyroid gland and causes the secretion of the thyroxin fsh and uh, lsh has different roles in males and females it acts on testes and the ovaries so fsh causes the growth of the ovarian follicles in the females and in the males it causes formation of the sperm lh in women it induces the ovulation and causes the formation of the corpus luteum it stimulates the ovarian production of estrogen and the progesterone whereas in men the luteinizing hormone stimulates the production of the testosterone the androgen and acth adrenocorticotropic hormone regulates uh, the hormone secreted by the adrenal cortex it acts on the adrenal cortex and make the release of the corticosteroids the glucocorticoids in summary hypothalamus releases the thyrotropin releasing hormone or prolactin releasing factor to stimulate the pituitary gland to release the prolactin if there is no inhibitory factor like dopamine is released from the hypothalamus the prolactin gets released and it mainly acts on the 
breast and causes the production of the milk. Prolactin also influences the development of the breast and uh, it has its own reproductive functions in the immune responses. Books to read Hindu Kurana, Gaitan and Hall, Genong, GK Park. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.